Pro-law people think that the law is always right by force, but it is not because humans make mistakes. Because intellectual property laws are active like bullying, the pro-intellectual property people do not care about the opinions of the fanatics or of the customers. That is not nice. The pro-intellectual property people are not the only ones who have opinions. The fanatics and the customers have opinions too. We need to be more sharers instead of being non-sharers. And selfishness counts as murder. People in the legal field want to use the law for revenge because of hurtful backstories. And slash or people in the legal field want to use the law for legit strategy like monopoly to win the grand prize. For people in the legal field, it is the same thing for competition in the business world. Using intellectual property laws to hurt the general public, for example. Pro-law people use anti-defamation policies, questioning authority, for example, to protect their reputation. But subliminally, pro-law people use anti-defamation policies to get away with the corruption against pawns, thus eternal immunity for pro-law people. Some pro-law people do not want a reality check about corrupt actions from the past to change positively so they are prideful and pro-law people think that they have eternal immunity. Somebody has to be the hero slash her oh in to save slaved communities from corrupt governments. Why do we have to honor someone who destroys our lives? If corrupt authority figures are going to arrest me for defamation, God will free me from hopeless situations. We give honor to our true spiritual God who gives hope, not to corrupt authority figures. If I was part of the legislative branch, I would make bills of hope to every hopeless person with harsh sentencing for corrupt authority figures. And I am trying to be the next Robin Hood of reality. In conclusion, the law is not on everybody's side.